Hi guys, now we are going to solve this problem. 4 to the power x plus 16 to the power x is equal to 64 to the power x. What we have to remember this here is, here 4, 16 and 64 are divisible by this 4. So you take this 4 to the power x is equal to some variable t. Now you have to substitute here and this these terms can be written as multiples of 4. Okay, So you can write this to be 4 to the power x plus 16 is 4 square whole to the power x is equal to 64 is 4 cube whole to the power x. Now you can make use of this substitution 4 to the power x is equal to t. Before that you can interchange this using this law a to the power n whole to the power m can be written as a to the power m whole to the power n. You can interchange the powers here. Okay. So using this you can write this to be 4 to the power x plus 4 to the power x the whole square is equal to 4 to the power x the whole cube. Here we are interchanging these two terms here. Now make use of this substitution 4 to the power x is equal to t. Now your problem becomes t plus t square is equal to t cube. Or you can take these terms this side. So you have t cube minus t squared minus t is equal to 0. We are taking this uh, positive term to this side it becomes negative and here positive t to this side it becomes negative t is equal to 0. Now t is common so take it outside t times here you have t squared minus t minus 1 is equal to 0. So here product of two terms is equal to 0 implies either t is equal to 0 or t squared minus t minus 1 is equal to 0. If t is equal to 0 what happened? 4 to the power x is equal to 0. 4 to the power x is equal to 0 is not at all possible. So only possibility is this is t squared minus t minus 1 is equal to 0. So t squared minus t minus 1 is equal to 0. Here this is a quadratic equation. So using the formula t is equal to minus a sorry minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a we can get the solution for t. What is a b here? Uh, b is equal to here. This is the coefficient of t is b. So b is equal to minus 1 and a is equal to coefficient of t squared is a and coefficient of t is b and c is equal to the constant term. So now we have to substitute here t is equal to minus of b value is minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 the whole squared minus 4 times a1 and c is minus 1 divided by 2 times a b have which is equal to here this terms becomes positive plus or minus square root of 1 here this again minus and minus it becomes plus 1 plus 4 divided by 2 or you have 1 plus or minus square root of 4 plus 1 is 5 over 2. So the value of t is equal to this. So t is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. Uh, so we have two possible solutions for t. t is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over t. Uh, t is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. What is t? We already have the substitution for t is 4 to the power x. So we have uh, 4 to the power x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over t. And here 4 to the power x is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Here we have for this, this 4 to the power x is always a positive and this is negative. So this is not possible. This solution is not possible. So only solution for this problem is 
put now we have to simplify this uh, taking log on both sides log 4 to the power x is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and here uh, log of a to the power b is equal to b log a you can write it you can take b here so you can write this to be x times log to the power 4 is equal to uh, log of 1 plus square root of 5 over equal divide this by log to the log 4 so x log 4 over log 4 is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 whole thing divided by log 4 or you this log 4 log 4 get cancelled and you know that log a by log b can be written as log a to the base b so in the same way x is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 base here is 4 to the base 4 this is the value of x thanks for watching subscribe our channel for more videos